you guys welcome back to my channel today is date night at home valentine's day is approaching so i thought it was the perfect time to go ahead and make this video but it doesn't have to only be for valentine's day this date night at home can be created anytime without further ado let's just jump into this video and i'm going to show you how i'm going to put together our date night at home I'm gonna start off by making a floral arrangement. So I have these beautiful carnations here, but this is just a little bit too big for my liking. Where I'm gonna be setting up is kind of limited space. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this wet jar. Just added my plant food along with some ice water and then I created a floral grid here. So this is the area where I'm gonna be setting us up at. Since we are gonna be having crabs, I know seafood boils can kinda of get a little messy. and I don't wanna risk it getting on one of my table runners, so I'm gonna go ahead and make a runner out of this craft paper here. I put the top of the wet jar down just so that the brown craft paper doesn't get wet by this jar since it is wet from the ice. So I'm gonna use these Valentine's Day pillows as our floor cushions so we're not sitting directly on the floor. get started with the dessert I usually would make my own brownies from scratch but I'm going to take the easy route today and just use this truffle baking mix from Trader Joe's so I'm going to go ahead and follow the directions and we're going to whip this up I'm gonna add about a tablespoon or so of vinegar. So I have my brownies here. I'm gonna go ahead and drizzle them with chocolate now.
next up um, is our water. So we prefer to drink this alkaline spring water, the 10. We currently don't have any that is cold. So I have this heart pitcher here. I'm gonna go ahead and pour our 10 into it and I'm just gonna put it into the refrigerator so it can get cold. make my famous potatoes these go great with steak I'm gonna use about three or four potatoes today seasonings I'm gonna be using for my potatoes I have some garlic powder here I have a herb blend I'm gonna use a little bit of cayenne pepper some black pepper oregano rosemary and a pinch of salt starting to caramelize the aroma from the herbs smelling amazing these are just about done I'm gonna lower the temperature and just let them do their thing and I'm gonna get started on pan searing the steak show to get started on the ribeye I'm gonna season them generously with a little bit of black pepper and some salt
so here we are moving on to prepping the asparagus i like to do the asparagus last because it's going to be roasted in the oven and it doesn't take long to cook at all so i started with things that were going to cook the longest which were the potatoes and then i moved on to the steak and now we are on to the asparagus so I like to just rinse it here and get it all cleaned up and break off some of those tough ends. And then we are going to get it into a cast iron skillet, drizzle with some olive oil, put some fresh garlic in the pan. And I also like to add some additional seasonings as well. Then we're gonna put this into a preheated oven and roast it for about 10 to 12 minutes until tender. It doesn't take long at all. And you definitely don't wanna overcook the asparagus. So here I am just adding a little bit more salt and pepper So now I'm about to put together a dipping sauce for the crab leg. So I'm gonna use a half a stick of butter, half of a lemon, and a blend of spices. Thanks for hanging out with me and creating this date night. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up, you guys. Meet me down in the comment section below. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you guys in the next one.